This is a demonstration of some of the new features in NoteTaker HD version 5. You'll notice that there are some new icons at the top, some new buttons. You have the normal ink mode that you're used to having, but there's also now text. And you can create a text box. This is a block of text. And you'll notice it goes into a rectangle. You can move it around. There are handles on the left for moving and on the, right, the bottom right for resizing, as well as on the right and the bottom. However, when you have it right up against it, instead of saying fixed for size, it says auto, which means as you start adding more text, it automatically gets larger. There's settings for this. So for example, right now we have Redana 14. You can change it, let's say to 18. And I can change the text color instead of being black. Let's make it blue. We can center it. We can put borders around it. We can center within the border. change what the, the padding is and how thick it is around the outside. One of the nice things about the color chooser is that not only do you have these swatches, but you also have sliders. So you can change the opacity, for example. You can even put in an explicit RGB value if that's what you want to do. You can duplicate it by pushing this button. And now we have two blocks, and I can switch between them. Or I can use this button to switch between multiple objects on the screen. I can also um, tap or press and hold to add another one. And now when I move it around, if I press and hold, it moves. If you just press and hold on a single one, you can move it. And of course, one of the advantages here is we can change the line color of both of them at once. So those are blocks of text. We also have shapes. There's a whole gallery of shapes. There are all sorts of them available. Let's look at this grid tool. Just drag it out and size it. And this has different settings. Each shape has its own settings. You can press this to get an explanation. In this case, um, let's see, you can either make it squares or rectangles. And if it's rectangles, then you can control with these sliders how many that you have on the screen. If it was squares, then you have different styles here. And kind of nice. You can do lots of stuff with that. There's another type of shape. This is a line shape. And this has just two handles on the end and one for moving in the middle. With so many shapes, it may be hard to be able to get quickly to the shape that you want. So the most recently used ones are shown in this recent section. And also you can take one or more and that are favorites, tap on here, and then they show up in the favorites section. You can now insert images. So for example, This is a browser, and I'm looking at an image. I'll copy it to the pasteboard. Go back to NoteTaker HD and press Image on Pasteboard, and there it is. 
You can also insert images from the photo album or from specific files that you've imported. Once you have it, you can rotate it. You can put a caption underneath it. And you can put a line around it if you'd like. You press the first button to go back to ink. And here, let's just draw some ink like you would on top of the graph. The last major mode is select mode. You end up with this selection box and you can move it wherever you'd like on the screen. And whatever is underneath it can be moved. You can selectively decide whether you want to move just ink and not other things, or a combination. One of the nice things also is that you can change the color of ink or the thickness. You can also delete. These buttons determine whether an object has to be completely within the selection rectangle or just partially to be selected. I hope you like these new features. I think it makes the product much more useful.